what's up guys uh welcome to this channel it's jctv zimbabwe um today i just bought i just bought uh, a benro rmc1 microphone so there you have it you guys can see it uh, right that's how it looks looks like um so because some of you were complaining about um my sound uh, obviously when i'm in this car the sound is quite uh, better but um when i'm in in my room which is become a studio uh the sound is a bit bad and some of you is complaining about you know putting on my earphones it doesn't look professional so i decided to buy this so we're just going to try it out and see how it comes out so just stay tuned as we are going to be unboxing this Benro microphone. It costs about uh, here it's 295, 295. Uh, that's about uh, 19 dollars um, at the time of the recording of this video, according to the conversion rate. So it's just under 20 dollars to those. So it's a cheap uh, microphone, but we're just going to put it to the test. So we have it here. Yeah, there is there's this. Um, I don't know what it works. Just gonna put it out there. So and then we have another plastic in here. Uh, okay, we have it. So there you have it. You see it? It is there. So we're just going to open it now. Okay, we have it. So that you see it comes with a clipper. There you see this clipper where you can uh, actually put it and then it comes with a with a pop filter this i'm just going to take it out and see how it looks like inside oh, here we go. okay so that's how it looks like okay without the pop filter looks pretty good okay okay this is going to put it back and uh, open it and then plug it into this cell phone so guys uh, when i'm inside the house um, I use this uh, ring light. It's a 10 inch ring light. I also bought it uh, for under $20. Um, I think I bought it for 150 rands, which is around um, uh, 9 to $10. Yeah, somewhere around there. So that's what I use here. So I just wanted to show you. Um, then inside the studio, I also have this uh, this tripod um and i've connected this tripod this is a quite a steady tripod so i'm going to show you how it looks like after i've put in everything yeah welcome back so the, uh, as i told you that uh i normally use it when i'm in my room uh room studio right uh and the microphone is here but i have not plugged it in so i want you to to see the difference when I put the microphone on and when I a difference in sound and I'm going to try to put it a little bit up here so that you can see um, how the levels of sound differ when it is too close and when it's, uh, when it's down so that if you want to purchase the same you know what to do so I'm going to put it in now right um, so it gave me a sign that um, it's recording through the headset so i just wanted you to test the difference how does it sound when it is here and when i do not have it do you still hear the ambient noise it is my volume too low uh, what is the difference i have not changed any uh, any volumes here i just kept it as it is uh, on my edit so just know that uh, you can can you see the difference can you test the difference and i believe this is good for our production but let me just put it a little bit up 
okay uh how does it sound uh, the reason why i put it up is because probably you might be wearing a t-shirt uh, and i just wanted you to see how it feels when you are wearing a t-shirt and when you are uh, probably wearing a shirt because when you're wearing a shirt you can pin it here but if you're wearing a t-shirt you have a sleeve to pin it on the on the uh, on the ring on the um, on your shirt i don't know what you call it uh, that uh, around neck shirts so that's what are t-shirts but on if you are wearing a, a right a shirt not a t-shirt you can actually put it on your uh, on your buttons or probably on your suit if you're wearing a, a jacket so i just wanted you to see uh, if you're somebody who is like mark zuckerberg yeah if you're somebody who like um uh tees you know that uh probably this is not for you but uh tell me what you think on the comment section do you think that this is good and uh also as i said i am using the ring light the 10 inch ring light so this ring light has got um it has got uh, temperature levels and uh, uh, different modes. So we've got this one that I'm using, which is a cool white. And then let's have this one. Uh, this is, uh, I think, warm white. And then we've got this one. Uh, this is a fluorescent white. Um, and there's another color as well. And then we're back to cool white. Uh, so it changes you know different um, temperatures uh, and you choose one that suits for you but i'm more interested in this one because it makes me look a little bit um the color here especially if i'm having a back uh, a white background it brings that white in a better way uh, so that's what i think but tell me what you think in the comment section uh this is a cheap uh the, so all in all this whole thing i mean the the tripod the tripod i was uh, i was uh it was it was bought by pardon and um this light i bought it about one 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 sixty as i told you which is uh pretty much less than uh, ten dollars uh, and this one as i told you is twenty dollars so that's all that i have for you today on this podcast tell me what you think do you think this is a good deal um if you are just a young uh guy who is doing uh um some vlogging so let's put it back here right here uh so if you are somebody who is looking to invest in a small vlogging kit uh that should cost you less than 50 dollars and you should be able to go if you're here in africa uh you can go and check that one on takealot.com if you're in south africa you can also check out on outdoor photo uh, if you're in south africa so that's all that i had for you today thank you so much for watching please subscribe to jctv zimbabwe and i'll see you on the next video thank you